California was on track to have the first high-speed rail line in the nation, but it's been far from a smooth ride for the bullet train. And now, as KPIX 5's John, John Ramos tells us, no one knows exactly how much it's going to cost. Mega projects are not projects. They start off as visions or big ideas, okay? And to think of them as a project is just wrong. Lewis Thompson is chairman of the High Speed Rail Peer Review Group. When he testified before a state senate committee two weeks ago, he made a frank admission about the $68 billion program's true cost. At this stage of the game, the, the, the possible outcomes are pretty broad. It could be more, it could be less, but, but, but what we don't know is exactly what it will cost. But that's a big problem for high-speed rail, because Monday, a Superior Court judge ruled that the rail authority cannot spend the $10 billion in bond money raised by Proposition 1A until the rest of the funds for the project are identified. The judge in this ruling said it's not enough to just say where the money might come from and just speculate or hope that the money might come from somewhere. You have to actually have a spending, a financing plan, which they don't have. Steve Wolpert teaches politics at St. Mary's College in Moraga. He says the initiative was sold to voters with a $42 billion price tag, and as the price has escalated, public support has declined. It wasn't a, a blank check. Just go out and start spending and keep on spending until the project's done. It probably wouldn't have passed. The judge has said the state can spend $3 billion of federal money to begin construction, and Governor Brown continues to push the project, some say to create a legacy for himself. But without public support and a concrete funding source, Wolpert feels the vision may be dead. If you were to lay a bet, do you think the high-speed rail system will ever get built? No. I'm not a betting man, but I think the odds are against it right now. Given what the court has said, it's a very high uh, likelihood that this uh, will not get enough political support to go forward. Now, Professor Wolpert compares high-speed rail with President Kennedy's call for creating the space program. But he says the prospect of a bullet train to Los Angeles has not captured the public's imagination like traveling to the moon did.